Welcome, this is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Did you know that there is a verse in the Bible that says, The angel of the Lord encamps about those who fear him. What does that word mean to fear the Lord? It means to show reverence because he is an awesome God and Jesus himself said to fear God who has the power to cast your soul into hell he says don't fear man but fear God and today when I was out working I was enjoying being outside in that sunshine and I mowed a lot of grass today. Well, there's this one particular ditch that when you try to use the lawnmower over there, the riding lawnmower, it's kind of steep in that section and I was going forward and then backwards and forward and backwards trying to get as much grass as I could cut down. Well, there was this one part that I went up there and whoo the lawnmower almost tipped over with me and I was kind of hanging in limbo and, and I could just feel it wanting to go on over with me and I said Jesus in my mind and it just went back and straightened up and I was able to go on and and I didn't fall or I didn't get injured so I just thank the Lord and then I heard that scripture later on that day and it said the angel of the Lord encamps about those who fear him and I'm pretty sure that if you've been a Christian very long you could probably think back about the times that You've been protected from disaster. I recall this one time. Oh, it's probably back in the 90s or so. And my husband and I were into trucking at that time. And I won't go into all the story about how we got into trucking. But at one point, we had to make a decision of what we were going to do. To earn a living and we had some friends that were into trucking and they said oh you ought to do that and that's what they were into and they even had their own business in it and they did very well so we went to trucking school and so my husband and I were a team on this truck that this company had hired us and there was one time they sent us to California and we were driving in the mountains over there and and it was at night time and I was the one that was driving and then I know it was the Holy Spirit that spoke to me and said switch drivers so I just had this feeling go all over me and so I told my husband I said let's switch so we did and I'm telling you what it wasn't but just a minute or so I mean it was a very short amount of time when he was driving and he started putting on the brakes real hard and there was this big old huge white cloud that came up and my eyes started burning me I mean they were burning so hard and and when he stopped that truck we got out and we were looking and what happened was this other driver who was driving a flatbed truck had a wreck his flatbed truck swerved over turned over it had 40,000 pounds of onions 
and those onions were just sprawled across the road. So I think about that. I was thinking about that yesterday, and I thought, that is one time I know that God saved our lives. Because if I had been driving, I probably would have hit that truck. That cloud of, of onion dust was just flying so strong, and my eyes were just hurting me so bad. And I just think that God saved us from disaster. But after that, we had to back up down the road a ways and go on around that other truck. But I just think about the times that God saved us. I know I've told these stories before, but... It's just absolutely amazing what God did for us. And there was another time we were driving in Canada. And the roads were real icy. I mean, such icy roads. It was so bad that our trailer, if we got over about 10 miles an hour, our trailer would start swerving over towards the ditch. So we just had to inch our way down the road, but we couldn't stop because we would freeze to death. I mean, we had to keep going and, you know, we didn't want to run out, run out of fuel either. And that was another reason why we had to keep going and we couldn't drive off into the ditch and we just had to keep going. We didn't have any other choice, but we finally, finally made it to our destination. And we didn't run out of fuel. And I was praying to the Lord. Oh, that was a very stressful time. But the silver lining was we got to see Niagara Falls on the Canadian side. And I'd like to tell this other story. I, later on in life, uh, after my husband and I had divorced and I moved to Oklahoma City and I got a job driving a truck and I would fill in for people. They would let me know when I needed to fill in for a particular person and they would send me on runs and they sent me on this one place one night and if I remember correctly it was just a drop. I don't think I even had to hook up to another trailer. I just had to drop the trailer I had and then just leave. Well, I got into that yard and I tried to unhook that trailer and it wouldn't unhook for me. Now, those years that I had been a team and we had our own rig I didn't have any problem unhooking the trailer at all, but I don't know why this trailer that particular night would not unhook. And I began crying out to God, crying out to God about it because it was probably around three o'clock in the morning or so and there was going to be no one showing up over there and I would just be stuck probably until the next morning so God worked a miracle he worked a divine miracle for me I cried out to God and did you know that trailer just unhooked now I'm not making this up I'm telling you what that happened it is one time in my life I know God heard and answered my cry. So remember that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. And I'm just giving him thanks today. And I'm giving him praise. And I'm 
Lord, thank you that I didn't fall off of that riding lawnmower. So, if you have anything that you'd like to share with me about a divine miracle that God has worked for you in your life, I would just so enjoy hearing it. I just love talking with you. Okay. God loves you, and so do I. Amen. <laughs>